guys, and welcome back, guys. Jack, do you have anything to say? I just want to say that today we're going to be going on this cool bush walk. And like we always do, we're going to take you along with us. Yep. And uh, guys, hey guys. If you um, can see in the water, you can see all these dang. green tags. And those are marking where they're going to put new floorboards for a war earth. Oh no. It appears we have been stumped. Okay. Um, well. We're going around. Yep. We're going around, guys. Ain't no good stop us from doing our bush walk. Yep. Nothing's gonna stop the hiking bros. Okay guys, so this Yep, this is the walk we'll be doing. Uh, I think we're going to Manly, that's 3.5 k's. Maybe a bit longer guys. We'll fill you in on the way. Flannelly. What's up guys and welcome back guys to the video. Okay, um, so uh, I just wanted to fill you in to a little bit of information guys. These are called Flannel flowers. Yep. Flannel flowers, guys. They're really cool. And Once so, you see these, yeah. you know it's spring because that's when they come out. Spring is when they come out. And so, yeah. What's up, guys? And welcome back, guys. So, um, basically, guys, um, there's this really cool old stairs. Kind of looks like we're in ancient Rome, Made guys. Of sandstone, in fact. Sandstone. Which could have been mined by cons um, convicts when the first fleet first came here. Yeah. This is near the ocean and pretty close to where the ships docked in to this harbour right over here. Yeah. Okay, guys. So. I just wanted to show you this incredible view of the harbour. Yep. Check out that horizon. Guys, that is amazing, guys. Check out that view, guys. One of the best things about bushwalks is the views you get to see along the way. The things you can see, like flannel flowers, banksia trees. Incredible stuff, guys. Incredible stuff. Yeah, guys. Now, if you do want to do a walk similar to this, you can do a walk called the Spit, Spit to, to Manly. Manly. It's about 10K, so nothing too much. Yep. So it's actually a pretty good walk, guys. It's Catch really you back good. On the flip side. Guys, check out this crazy drop. <sighs> Guys, that is such a crazy drop. Oh my gosh. Guys, if I were to slip, I would have been in the hospital. Guys, that is so freak. That drop was higher than you think. Guys, so this part is going to be a tiny bit. There is a stairs, but I want to give you some... Oh, looks like Jack's just done something with those spikes. Okay, guys, so I'm going to film myself going down this part. Oh, no. Oh, flip. Floopity doop. Okay. Okay, there we go. Do some parkour. Yep. There we go. That's good. That's real nice, guys. Catch you back on the flip side. Hey, guys, we just wanted to take a minute and acknowledge what humans and bushfires are doing to this place. We have seen it before on the Spit to Manly. This is a slightly different walk, but yeah, I call this the dead end, the dead end valley, because, well, look at it. Everything it's, is dead. It's literally dead, guys. Everything, every, literally almost every single tree is dead. I mean, As you can see, the little plants are starting to grow back, which is really nice. But the trees, there's almost no hope. Yeah, I mean, if you can see, some of them are literally just still charred black. Dang. Yeah, that is, like, real. And the reason I call it the Dead Valley is pretty much a lot of wildlife that goes into this is dead. Mainly because things like koalas, there's no trees for them to eat. And all the bushes in here have really spiky leaves on them, which can cut you to pieces. Yeah. What's up, guys? Now, I just wanted to tell you guys that look at all these bags. Now, all these bags are filled with things like sandstone and brick. Also, some of it is wood. And it, this is all to make a brand new path. And did you know, guys, fun fact, that all of these bags were actually dropped in by helicopters. 
Dang, bro. If we can take a closer look at one, you oh, can yeah. see these big handles. You can see the big handles. Oh, where yeah. A hook on a helicopter has been attached to them. Oh, wow. A hook on a helicopter. That's cool. Talk to you Guy. later when we find another thing interesting. Yep. Hey guys and welcome back guys. So here um are some of the views that we do get here on this walk. And we're actually going down a different path that we haven't gone to on this walk. I'll do some more of the views right around this corner guys. It's really good. Um I would re oh my gosh, that's actually better as you can see. I have not been here on this path before, guys. Look at that shot, guys. That's yeah, really it is, nice. It is a new path, because actually on this walk, we do take a side path, but for some reason, that has also been fenced off for maintenance. Yeah. And I don't know if you can see that, but down there, there looks to be some sort of weird seaweed on that rock. Whoa. Okay, wait. I'll get a... Mount Eden, let's see if you can zoom in on that. Yeah. It's actually better zoomed out. I actually, right down there, over there, guys. I'm, I'm circling and it with my finger. And another thing, Aiden, you could try and zoom into is over there on that little end of the view is actually nice. an old quarantine station where they would keep sick people from ships. Yeah, they would. So they would keep like really, really sick people on ships right over there, guys. Uh, I'll catch you. Next, I'll catch you next bit of the video, guys. Let's go. Hey, guys. So I thought I would just um, record us going down some stairs, we trying to get... Lighting. Yep. It, as you can see, guys, it has rained very recently over here. There was actually a thunderstorm. I think it was, um, it was a couple days ago. And so, yeah. Uh, so there's the terrain, I mean the sea guys, and um, so oh gosh, yeah. This terrain is so tough. I know, like the stairs are like, they're really like chipped can away. We just, so uh, Can we just take a minute to acknowledge I'm wearing white shoes right now? <laughs> I'm wearing black. Can oh, guys, this is such muddy terrain. Just warning, do not do this bushwalk after rain. <laughs> yeah. You, guys, as you can see... Especially, do not wear white shoes. Yeah, and guys, as you can see, the, sh the stairs are actually chipped away, guys. This They're really they worn out, and time. they've been here for a long time. And so, basically... They might have been built by convicts, guys. That How crazy is that, guys? People hundreds of years ago, guys. These are actually made of sandstone. And Which convicts did mine a lot of sandstone. Sandstone. So that's like a 75% chance that these stairs were put here by convicts a long time ago. Yeah, guys. Okay, guys. We will catch you in the next bit of the video, guys. What's up guys and welcome back to this part of the video guys. As you can see, there is a ferry right over there guys. So if you don't know what a ferry is, bit of information guys. So basically a ferry is something that goes across water in Sydney um, to get people from the harbour over to other suburbs guys. So basically, basically that is what a ferry is guys. There it is, guys. Let's go, guys. I'm well, welcome back, guys. So, basically, I'm gonna do a little bit of running parkour, guys. Up here, guys. Let's go. Ew. Hey, guys. Um, guys, we are approaching this really cool green terrain, guys. And so, basically, um yeah, it's pretty good, guys. There's trees, there's greenery. Yeah, wildlife is incredible. I've seen a couple of water dragons, possum or two. Yeah, and it's actually pretty good, guys. See you in the next part of the video, guys.